Kazan, Russia. Kazan is a city with over a thousand years of history and it also has a Kremlin. It's all this, look at it up here. I'll show you tomorrow. Hello everyone, I'm in Kazan, Russia. This city is over a thousand years old. Seriously, Kazan was founded in the year 1005. Wow. Flying here was great. We flew from Moscow, from the Vinokovo airport. The airport seems new, well maintained, well taken care of. There's a priority pass lounge so that you can enjoy even when you're flying economy class, like it was my case. And there's an amazing thing that I had never seen in any other airport or lounge in the world. The lounge is located outside the x-ray and you can go through the x-ray from inside the lounge. There's an exclusive line, direct access, and you're already at your gate. It is fantastic. No one in front of you and it goes so fast. Wow, from up here you can really see how green Moscow is. The flight was at Rossiya Airlines. Very spacious. It was just a one and a half hour flight and they even give you a snack and everything was very nice. So now let's talk about Kazan. This is the Kremlin Embankment. It's a very nice area, like a park in front of the Kremlin. There are lots of restaurants here on both sides over there here as well and here in the middle people come to ride their bikes and skate and enjoy in general it's a big leisure area but this during summer during winter this becomes the longest ice rink in Europe talking about summer and winter we're here during summer weather is fantastic it's warm look at this <laughs> It's actually warmer than in Moscow and St. Petersburg. But talking to people here, I also discovered that during winter, it could be worse. It could be much colder than in Moscow and St. Petersburg. That's why also at this time of the year, things look like a big celebration, you know, most of the times. A lot of people on the streets like music, and people are also very friendly. They always ask if we're enjoying. Now, just to give you an idea of where we are exactly, Kazan is located about 800 kilometers from Moscow when you go towards Asia. In terms of latitude, it's very equivalent. Not St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg is way north. From here, you can see the Kremlin. Look at how beautiful. Kazan is a big city, 1.2 million people. This is the sixth largest city in Russia. But we're in a hotel located close to the main attraction, so I think we're gonna do everything walking, which is great. <laughs> Except for now. Now we're going all the way over there, across the river. Um, but also there is subway here, there's Uber, so transport is not a problem. There's a card. If anyone had any question about it, this is the only site in English that is now World Cup related to the entire city. We came here to see the view from the observation deck up there. Guess what? Normally this is a beautiful park where you have a really nice view to the Kremlin over there. It's the family center. We were here exactly when they're dismantling after an event. So we have no access. Let's see what we can do in terms of pictures. The closest we can get. Guess what's this beautiful construction? Not a monument, it's a wedding palace. Well, what can I do? Let's see if we find another viewpoint on this side of the river. Ideally, before the rain. Look at that. There's a beach over there. People fishing here. Swimming with ducks. Oh, look at this view. Nice. Cinema. I read in Russian and English at the same time. That's oh, talent. you're so talented. You think that this is where they have hockey? Yeah. Let's go grab something to eat. 
imagine this view on a sunny day. That's the Kremlin. Right there, the Kremlin. And a beach right here. There's a private beach at this hotel here too, the Riviera. And there's an aqua park. Anyone can buy tickets and sometimes not even included for hotel, yes. <laughs> What's left of our kachapuri? Forgot to show you guys. This is actually a dish from Georgia, similar to a pizza, and it's very common in Russia as well. Delicious. Did you see this M at the bridge? It's the Millennium Bridge, celebrating Kazan's millennium. I'm also taking the chance here today to write the postcards I promised in the very first video as soon as I arrived here in Moscow. I asked if anyone would like to receive a postcard from here and a lot of people said that yes, they would like. <laughs> that is so nice. So this is what I'm doing here. I'm writing uh, each one individually and I'm sending them to like 15, 20 countries. USA, Canada, Australia, Brazil, Colombia, Peru, so many different places in the world. I'm so amazed, it is so cool. If you receive one of these postcards, please tag me on social media because I would love to see you in this online world. Just like that, back where we started. Today was a very relaxing day. I really needed a break. No, not to relax on the flight from Moscow to here. That was easy, just an hour and a half. But I spent a month and a half in Moscow working very, very hard during the World Cup. No, I absolutely love what I do. I'm a journalist and it was like the time of my life, highlight of my career. But when you work in a very intense rhythm, sometimes you need to take it easy and give yourself some time to relax. That's what I did today. Also, the forecast was not the best. I expected a lot of rain, so I just took advantage of the situation. But Kazan, wait for me tomorrow. This mosque is one of the symbols of Kazan. Wow, at night the city gets even more impressive. All buildings are lit very nicely, but the Ministry of Agriculture with that tree in the middle, that's my favorite. <gasps> Look at this place! This is so cool and it looks like the lights continue for miles and it's not Christmas, play summer! the day here and now I'm back in the evening to the Kremlin embankment and it is so nice we're at this lounge um, we're actually at the terrace of the lounge everyone has its own cabin and we have amazing views here the Kremlin is right over there here's the river you can see the buildings on the other side of the river everything is lit full of colors and it's just a big open space really really nice I'm loving it I loved how a day that started so great ended up so colorful. In the next two vlogs, I'm going to show a lot of Kazan. Hope you enjoy. Wow, it's really dark over there. Let's go find some shelter before we're going to the Riviera Hotel. It's not Riviera, it's Rivera. Rivera? Yeah. No, it's Riviera. It's, you say Riviera. Just in case. We're going to the Rivera. We're going to the Rivera Hotel. I still think it's Rivera. <laughs> Anyways, we're canceling the visit. Weather's not helping photography from up there today. 